guys ever have that deja vu feeling? I kind of have one right now. <clears throat> yeah, it's somewhere I've been before. Absolutely, but I just can't shake the feeling of walking upon a moose. What's on the go? How the heck is everyone doing? Whew, it's a warm one. Got hot all of a sudden today. I tried getting out early and uh, kind of got tangled up here and there and everywhere. And uh, yeah, it is now almost high noon and pretty freaking hot. But such is life. We're still gonna do it. See if we can do this without breaking our necks. Get over here. So well, today we're chasing some more brook trout. Um, well, kind of whatever nibbles really, but we definitely are in brook trout territory. You might bump into a winning-ish, possibly a brown, hard to say. But we're chasing brookies. So yeah. Now, this spot here looks good, but I 100% is filled with micro dinks. So I'm going to go a little bit further on and see if I can find something a little bit bigger. Tell you one thing, the stouts today are absolutely insane. I cannot believe it. Whew. Now, you wanna see frustration at a high level? This will be frustration at a high level. I mean, short leader territory, meaning I should have no more than six to nine feet just based on what's kicking around to get tangled up in and i'm rocking about 14. and am i going to change it hell no or at least i'm not going to change it until i lose the fly in the first or second cast Let's see what happens i'm going to check these lilies out here in this canal a little bit of depth This is about to get treacherous. Oh, that's into the grass. I shortened the leader, made a cast. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'll get him for you before he squirms away. And a little brookie, just like that. Now, see if I can hit the repeat button. I did shorten up a couple of feet. Um, so yeah, my 14 foot leader is probably 10. Maybe nine. Is more appropriate for the situation. Uh, I'm definitely tangled up in my leader though. I can't see with the sun. Yeah, all tangled up. Whee! Go fly fishing, they said. It'll be fun. Zero room for error in here. These little bushes are ruthless. Now, oh, 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 got him. Did you see the weight coming towards the fly? I hope the camera got that. <laughs> Might be a nice trout. <laughs> ah, that's, right there is why I love brookie trout. You can watch them chase that fly up. No, I'm not yeah. hoping for something a little nicer. Not too bad though. Little eight ten incher. Look at that guy. Woo! There you go. Nice little brookie. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh god. This is again why I love brook trout fishing. It's just so much fun, so much action. Oh. 
Ho, ho, ho. Look at that one. Ah, that was a nice trout. Oh. <laughs> as soon as you put it back out there, look. And you can't tell me this ain't fun. Wee, oh. Oh, he's brown. So that's a brookie. We got a brown. See you, bud, little baby brown. Um, where's the Winnie? We'll get our grand slam for the day. They just, they just chase the fly. It's hilarious. Uh-oh, drag's way too loose. I'm covered in stouts. I had a fish on then too. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Get in here, pork chop. Look at the mess of line I got out. This is a nice mud trot. Here, Brookie. Come here, buddy. Oh, dandy little trout. Again, for this size of water. Oh, just in the bottom lip. Woo, little 10, 12 incher. See you, bud. And see, the thing about these gullies is a lot of people would bypass all of this and go hit a bigger pond or bigger body of water. And I mean, why? Look, there's fish everywhere. Now, they're not the biggest fish, I know that, but how much fun are you gonna have in the run of an hour? Stop, stop. Another little guy. Oh, he got some, uh, some lice on him or something. So they're sitting in the bottom doing nothing. It's that low water. Oh, right back there. Oh. <laughs> I can't retrieve quick enough. Uh oh, tangled, tangled in the island. Got him, got him. <laughs> Look at the dink. Oh, he's gone. Clearly all the small ones are back in the shallow water there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I watched him chase that one. We might have to scatter from here now because all the fish are going to be spooked. You get your clip back on. I have a fish on. <laughs> what a tangle. What a tangle. So that fish had it in the back of his tongue. So I had to get the little pliers out to help him out. I threw the fly out in the water to release the fish to get it out of my hands and away from everything. And by the time I picked the rod up, this little guy was at the end of it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he inhaled that one. <gasps> ah! No! He's coming towards me! What the hell is on the go? What a dink! Look! Another brown! Interesting. Interesting! He had the hook in him good. Just a little, little baby brown. What was that? One more cast? Yeah, I'll have one. You guys see that? <laughs> Sorry, bud. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's our Winnie. 
That's the Winnie. Thanks, man. So now we have officially a grand slam for the day. One brook trout, one brown trout, and one winning-ish out of here, stout. Albeit the brown and the winnies were very small. I'm still going to take it as a win. Flip over, bud. There's your winnie. See the fork in the tail? That's the big difference, and you can get, you know, a little more technical down the road. That could have been a nice fish. I'm going to back up and let him try again. Got him. Not a bad one. Not giant, not what I'm looking for, but not a total squeak. I'll take him. Nice little brookie. For these gullies that are really low as shit on water. Ooh, there you go. Nice little fishy in the sun, hey? Nice colors. See you, bud. Keep moving down a bit. Adam, gone. Got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Need somewhere to land him. This is definitely the size we were after. Not quite there yet, but definitely, <laughs> you'd know we're ready. Definitely in the ballpark. Come on, bud. Woo. Nice trout. Hang on, hang on, hang on, bud. Ooh, look at that. Nice chunky 12-incher. Do I out? Just barely had him too. Fly came right out. Beautiful colors. Nice and chunky. See you, bud. That's what I was after. Oh. Oh. That's treat. Look. Oh. He's chasing it. Oh, I had him. He followed that right from the other side. I just don't know if the camera would pick up all the little surfaces because of the ripples in the water. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna turn around. I'm gonna show you something. Just watch, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. The only tree within, I don't know, 100 feet I'm tangled up in. Well, folks, that's going to do it for today. I'm beat out. I'm fished out. I'm hungry. I'm sure the dog's got to go pee as well. So I'm going to go home, hang with the dogs, tie some flies because they're all chewed up at this point. And, uh, yeah, until the next adventure in another small little bog hole like this chasing brook trout, tight lines. We'll see you again.